So I'm going to be showing you how to use these great little rulers. I just got these in my shop. Uh, they're called Cute Cuts uh, by Lori Holt. They're from Riley Blake Designs. Um, they're really great for fussy cutting. They make it super easy to frame up your cut perfectly so it's nice and centered and you don't cut off any of that great print on your seam allowance because it shows you exactly where your seam allowance is going to be. So in the clear section in the middle, that's what's going to show on your project when you're done. So I picked this fabric here. This is Little Fawn Celebration. Um, this is from Dear Stella. Really adorable print. There's lots of little things to discover on this print and cut out and focus on. So I'm going to cut out a two and a half inch square, which of course is going to be two inches on my project when it's done and sewn in. So I'll take my fabric first and I'll lay it out. I'll take my ruler and I'll just sort of slide it around on the print and frame things up and see what fits in there nice. Um, I want to find something that I can focus on in the middle with not too much distraction on the outside. So I'll look around. There's these cute little guys here um, which for this size cut would be a little small because if I try to frame up on this bunny here, I mean, it's adorable, but for my taste, I've got a little bit of this squirrel hanging out in the corner and I find it a little distracting uh, from focusing on this guy here. So I'm going to keep looking and I looked at it a little bit earlier and I decided I want to cut this guy here, this little bear. See, when I frame it up, he sort of fits perfectly and I don't have too much distraction around him so I can really focus on him in the middle. So once I decide on what I want to cut, I'll look at my fabric again, I'll spread it out, and I want to find this bear, but I want to find it real close to the edge, uh, ideally in the corner, because I'm going to be cutting a hole in my fabric and I don't want to cut it right in the middle uh, then I'm going to have all this weird uh, cuts that I might not be able to use and I might end up wasting. So this guy is, he's in the middle, but he's right on the edge. So I'll only have to cut a small bit out and I'll have a lot of extra that I, usable fabric. So I'm going to take my fabric here and I'm going to line up my ruler. What's great about this ruler is it has these great guidelines. So I can zoom in there a little bit. It's got these great guides. So it's got this little flower in the center. So I can center that right on my picture. And then I can even use these grids. There's a square here in the middle. I can use that to center on my image. I use my little flower to center. I don't want to cut off his little hat there. So I kind of look, there's just a little bit of space between him and my seam allowance here, which is what's going to show. And just a little bit of space between the top of his hat and there. So really just take a minute, make sure it's nice and center. And uh, I like to use this small blade rotary cutter, just because if you have a big blade and you go to cut, I'm going to end up cutting much more into the fabric than I want to because then if I want to use a piece up here, I'm going to have a big cut into it. So I like to use these small blade. This is a 28 millimeter. So I'm just going to cut this guy out. this great little cut. Now you can see a little bit of stuff here, but remember that's going to be covered by my seam allowance uh, for the most part, and you really just see this guy in the middle, and that's what you're going to be focused on.